Okay, everyone, I have another point to make on this Monday. I guess I've got a lot to say today. I had a conversation with someone about um, rainbow babies. Okay, so for those of you who do not know, a rainbow baby is the child that you have successfully, successfully after you have had a miscarriage. So that is the child that goes to full term. And because I deal with spirits and I communicate with spirits, um, I even communicate with the spirits that did not make it to full term. And so I was speaking to someone and I was like, hey, um, do you have a sibling? And um, they were like, no, I'm an only child. I was like, mm. and I even had the name of the child right and so we further went into conversation uh, on a different day this happened over a period of a couple of weeks right so we had another conversation later on because this spirit came to me literally woke me up out of my sleep because i had met this individual and the spirit wanted to get a message to the individual um so i finally was able to have the conversation about hey, you know, perhaps you have a sibling that you don't know about. And this person tells me a story of a time when they think their mother actually lost a child. So they're going to, I don't know if they're really going to ask about it, but they might ask about it. But anyway, so it brings me to another point because I've had people say, um, I've lost babies and they are really um, saddened by it and confused by it. And I just want to encourage someone that there's a reason that you did not have, and that was confirmation, that you did not have that particular energy born at this time. For whatever reason it was, it doesn't mean that that particular energy will not come back to this physical realm it means that at that point perhaps for whatever reason the timing wasn't right a perfect example of this was a woman that i knew of and i think i told the story before that um, delivered a child who was a stillborn child and her spouse was extremely abusive beating her probably would have ended up unaliving her and the baby because that's just how dangerous of an individual this person was. And fortunately, she, after this situation of losing this baby, he ended up leaving her. Probably the best thing for her because he got with someone else and did some a bunch of stuff, right? So just know that although it's difficult to accept the loss you can still celebrate that life that did not make it here because it is still a part of you and a part of your family. And it is still aware of the life that you are living. And a lot of times it, they want to communicate with you still, right? So celebrate and honor that person that did not actually make it to this physical. And if you do that, perhaps you would get clarity on why they didn't make it to this physical. All right. That's what I want to say about that. Okay. Bye.